Events are really important for any sort of game and game engine. Now ARM 3D is really great because it has sockets that plug into each other in the visual editing workspace and these sockets are colour coded so you know which socket should go where because they should always go in their corresponding colour but there are a couple of exceptions. When we go to events these are things that trigger other things for example a player input like a keyboard input that has a red socket that has a primary event signal it's sent out and something happens if that signal is received for example move the player forwards if you're pressing a certain key. We also have built in events like the on timer event, the on update event a bunch of things that happen consistently throughout the program. It doesn't matter what computer you're on, uh, what program you use, it's always going to have these sort of primary events. However, we want something more customizable usually if you want to send out an event uh, on occasion. For example, having a bunch of modules that you can link to whenever you uh, encounter a situation where you might want to display some of those actions or characteristics. We have three different nodes. The on event node, which is a listener node that listens for the event but more importantly we have the send global event node and the send uh, event to object node now these nodes do primarily the same thing they send out an event a custom event that you make and you create it by just typing whatever text you want to be the event that you're sending out now the event to object node is exactly the same thing as the event global except it only sends it to a specific object whereas the event global sends it to any object in the scene that might happen to have a listener node that is listening for that event. Talking about listener nodes, we have the on event node which is the only listener node for both of these nodes and it listens for any event that is sent out by either of these nodes. Obviously it can only read it if it's hosted within the object that you sent it to if you're using the send event to object node but if you're using the global one you can have your event node set any way you like it will be listened to and heard. So this on event node essentially has three different functions on init, on update and custom. I highly recommend you set it to on update and you type in whatever event have you created previously with the other two nodes and it will read it if that event is triggered and sent out. This is very useful if you have a bunch of sub-modules with a bunch of actions that you want to apply to any object that may require them. For example, uh, in this situation, if I collide with any different object, it's going to play this animation. Now this animation is in the scene tab, so it acts like a sub-module that you can apply to any single object that you may encounter. Now there are a lot and a lot of different functionalities to the on event nodes. Uh, basically it's endless, you can do anything you like with it and making games sometimes require you to use these sort of events because things like the on update node or the on timer node are too consistent. There isn't enough uh, room or control that you have over them. So the on event node really fills that big gap. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you understood and now are able to use these on event nodes to trigger anything you like in Armour 3D.